Okay. We are gonna get ready today. We're gonna get so ready. I am so tired. I do have some makeup left over from yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Bioderma uh, little cleansing wipe thingies. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of cleanse my face. By the way, these makeup wipes are so good. They are like soaked in the Bioderma micellar water. These were a dollar, by the way, which every time I say that, I wanna like, I just wanna deck myself in the face because I should have bought more. The Jeffrey eyeshadow stained, by the way. I woke up and my eyelids were pink. Pink, super pinky malinky fam. Like they were pink, but that just goes to show like they're good eyeshadows. If they stain, like damn guys, that's saying something, okay? So I have the eyeshadow palette that I really wanna try out. The Rude Cosmetics products. I don't think I actually got like a primer. Um, I should probably get that. I should probably get like a primer. Um, also I got my Hold on, just a second. By the way, I also got my BoxyCharm and a PR package from Rimmel. So a couple of products that I also really wanna try out from them. Rimmel sent me a bunch of lip products. Um, which was really nice of them. I really do love Rimmel. Um, I have a lot of really, a lot of really cool products. And again, my Bossy Charm, which I'm very excited, you guys. I flip in. I love Boxy Charm. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this Wander Beauty Illuminating Face Oil. Packaging is stuntastic. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this to prime and to moisturize. Oh, this smells good. For setting spray or priming spray, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Rude Shine Control Lasting Makeup Mist. This I got at Beautycon. This is actually something I'm really, really, really curious about. You guys know I love, I love setting sprays. I love them to set, I love them to prime. I love them to kind of refresh my makeup throughout like my makeup process. So I'm actually really excited to try this out. This was like four or five dollars, I believe at Beautycon. You get a good amount of product and the packaging again is really cute. But then again, Rude Cosmetics, pretty cute packaging. That spray, it doesn't really have a scent. It's moisturizing all day perfection, yet it gives you a long lasting natural matte finish, but it's moisturizing. That's kind of the goal, because even when you have oily skin, the best way to combat oily skin is by keeping your skin super moisturized. That way your skin doesn't feel like it has to produce an excess amount of oils. For foundation, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my CoverGirl Matte Ambition Foundation. This foundation I have been so hooked on lately. It's just a really good foundation. It's been super duper hot lately, so we are definitely gonna use this. My hair is a hot mess today. Speaking of which, segue has anybody else watched or started watching or have watched bless this mess i believe it's on abc it's such a cute show i love it so much i have always had such a like weird crush on lake bell i don't know why but every time i see her in anything i'm like always such a fan of hers i think she has like such great genius comedic timing i think she's hilarious i think she's gorgeous and such an unique way like honestly i think she's one of the most beautiful women on the planet but not in like your typical beautiful girl next door type of way like i just i think she has such a like exotic face to i don't know i just i'm obsessed with her i think she's gorgeous i love her and that show is so flipping good if you guys haven't watched it i recommend it bless this mess on abc it's on hulu if you guys got hulu check it out it's honestly it's so good and dax shepherd fam like just the casting alone on that show also, she wrote it. What the flip? Power to the vagine. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I didn't get anything for brows, so I just went ahead and skipped right along that. But I did get a brand new concealer that I'm so stoked to try out. I had no idea that Rude even had concealers. But they do. This is the Sculpting Concealer, again, by Rude Cosmetics. So this is the Conceal and Contour Plus Highlighter Concealer. I was just about to say, this looks super shiny, like an illuminator. And I don't know how I feel feel about that like I don't like don't, I don't necessarily need my concealers to like illuminate or make me look shiny I want them to cover and highlight and like brighten I don't know this if it's a little shimmery guys I might use this under my brows and then we will see so she's a little watery and truth be told the coverage isn't really all the way there 
but I mean, she's getting the job done. It's just not as full coverage as I would have liked it to be. I am gonna go ahead and test this out on my under eyes just to see, guys. I'm curious, why not? Very watery. It doesn't feel thick or heavy at all, which is actually not a negative in my book. I like it when concealers are a little bit, you know, on the lighter side. So first impressions on that, I'm not mad at it. I blend it out super easily. A word, Rude Cosmetics? A word? You guys, that is not bad. That is shockingly not bad. I'm not mad at this coverage because one, it feels like I have nothing on. It blended out super easily. It actually is quite brightening for a nice natural day where you don't want a lot of like cake. This is actually not a bad concealer. I am gonna go ahead and just try and layer on a little bit more just for the added coverage right here. And also, I just wanna see if it builds up, at least if it gives us that option. But if this builds up, you guys, I'm not mad at this concealer, not in the least. Um, my camera died, so I had to take a little bit of a break. I just went ahead and used my La Mercier powder to bake my eyes with, but I am gonna go ahead and use the Becca Hydra Mist powder. This powder I've tried before. I love this powder. I am such a big supporter of this powder. It is it is the strangest powder I've ever tried in my life because the thing is about this powder is it feels wet. Like, it really takes the name Hydra Mist, like, very seriously because it feels so wet. When I saw in the sneak peeks on the BoxyCharm Instagram that we were gonna get a flippin' Becca Hydra Mist. I was so excited. This is such a good powder, you guys. If you guys have never tried it, try it. At least just give it a shot. It's so interesting, but it really does give your skin such a flawless Instagram filter type of feel, yet it's so cooling. It's a powder, like it's a powder, but it feels wet. I don't know how to explain it. It's just really awesome. It's tray tray dope. Go ahead and give it a shot, please. It's just that bitch, I don't know what to tell you. I wanna just move on to the face and get the face done and squared away. Don't think I bought anything like for the face specifically. Did I? I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Makeup Geek face palette. This is such a good palette. I'm gonna go ahead and use the bronzer and the blush and we will be right back. For highlights, I do have something I really want to try. So this is the Jasmine Beauty Illuminating Trio. I spoke about this again in my haul. I'm so excited to use this. This looks gorgeous. Again, the 17-year-old girl that designed this and came up with this and founded this whole makeup line has diabetes. And she started this whole makeup line with that in mind as something to make and to kind of give the world, but also to give back. So she could help fund research for a cure for diabetes, which is awesome. I love stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of swirl all of them. See what happens. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That is something else, my fam. Wow, you did that. You go, Jasmine, because honestly, this is stunning. And again, I'm just kind of swirling all of them together and then swirling them on my cheekbones. But this is super pretty. I actually really, really like this. It's not bad at all. Now that's a trio. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to lips. For lips, I really wanna use these Rimmel products that they sent me, but I also wanna use this lip liner that I got in my Baxi Charm. This is by Steve Laurent. I don't know if it has a name. Nope, but I do know it's $15, and the Baxi Charm is only 20 on. So that's very cool. Anyways, oh, this is sharp. No mames, fam. This could stab a hoe. Zam, Zaddy, Zam. So as for butteriness, I definitely tried more buttery. As for creamy, I definitely tried more creamy, but this is not bad. It's just, it's a little rough and it's a little waxy, but I mean, it got the job done. It's not terrible. I've definitely tried worse. Rimmel sent me three of their Rimmel London Long Finish Extreme lipsticks. These guys right here. I'm definitely gonna go in for the nude one, you guys. I, there should be no shocker there in the least. Let's not kid each other. Oh, wow. So that is not as nude as I would have liked it, but damn, talk about buttery and creamy. This is it, y'all. Yum. I'm gonna go ahead and top it off with this gloss by Rimmel as well. The Stay Glossy Lip to Gel Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Honey. 
So I wish this was a little bit neuter just because of now the look is going to look way intense. Um, but it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad at all. I am going to go ahead and set using the same Rude Long Lasting Finish setting spray. And then we can move on to the eyes. Look how wet that left me, fam. That's almost like a hazard a little bit. I feel like I have to dry this fast or my face is going to fall off of my face. For eyes, I think I'm just going to go into my Makeup Geek palette real quickly just to grab the bronzing shade as my transition shade. Because I really want to play with these guys these guys came in my boxy charm and they look really 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 cute but they're single shadows and they need something to blend into so that's what we're gonna do so i'm really curious and i'm gonna go ahead and grab this one from ace beauty it's in the shade iced latte and i honestly just want to pop this all over my lid I feel like an iced latte. I want salmon. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of blend in cotton candy, which is this pinky one. It's pretty. These are both so pretty. Very different, but super cute. I am gonna go ahead and grab this nice white shade from the Jasmine Beauty Illuminator. And this I'm gonna use to highlight my inner corners. We're just doing a very natural get ready with me, guys. You know how we do here. You know what we do. Okay, for mascara, I'm going to go ahead and use this Tarte mascara, the Big Ego. I got this in my BoxyCharm. I got it in the shade Black. I've tried a couple of Tarte mascaras in the past, and honestly, guys, I wasn't that shaken up, but... I'm really going to give this one a shot. The packaging is to die for. It's definitely making a statement as a mascara. Ooh, the brush is interesting. I think this is, uh, it's called the Confidence Booster Brush. And it looks like it's supposed to be a lengthening mascara. I'm not mad at that. I do love some lengthening. I look more for volume because my lashes are already quite long on their own. We're still going to try it out regardless. Yeah, that's not, that's not shocking at all. On this lash, because I forgot I had it, I'm going to go ahead and use the Rude Mascara. This is the Rude Sultry Eyes Mascara. Let's pop this on our other lash and see which one is better. Honestly, guys, both are pretty damn blah. I'm not impressed by any of these. Mm -mm. I'm going to try and see if I can kind of build up the Rude Mascara, though. Because if I had to pick, I'm not going to lie, I'd actually pick this one. The Tarte Mascara really didn't do anything. Like, nothing at all. All right. Literally just meh. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for just getting ready with me. I know this wasn't the most exciting video. We weren't technically, like, reviewing everything, and we weren't doing, like, a tutorial. Like, we were just getting ready. And I love to do these videos. I hope you guys enjoy them as much as I do because I really do just love doing my makeup in front of you guys. It's just one of those things I really enjoy. I know I didn't use everything from BeautyCon, but I have specific videos I want to use those products for. So if you guys didn't see exactly what you guys were looking for, keep on the lookup because I upload every day, you guys. Your product will be shown i promise you and i have plans for each of those things so just to kind of skim through this i think the most shocking thing for me was either the jasmine beauty highlighter and the rude cosmetics concealer i actually really like the concealer i feel like i have no makeup on my face at all and both of these products i picked up at beautycon and like was not expecting much out of each i know that may sound a little rude but i'm being honest with you guys like i wasn't expecting for these to shock me as much as they did and both of these products really did i think the mascara can both kick rocks. I don't think they're great at all. I think the Ace Beauty little eyeshadows, while they're cute, they're honestly not anything I've ever seen before. But they're cute and they're perfect for travel. I see the point of them. I see their merit. And they're not bad. I actually really like this too. I'm not gonna lie. My skin really liked it. It needed it because my skin has felt so stripped lately. All in all, guys, I am very hungry. I gotta go pick up my daughter. I gotta go buy some salmon. I'm gonna drink the rest of my water like a good girl. And it's going to be a great day. A great day. I might cry later because I'm going to watch The Handmaid's Tale. And um, I'm not prepared. <laughs>